this video, I'm going to show you how to use your Chromebook to install the Raspberry image on your Raspberry Pi. So first thing we want to do is we want to open up the Google Chrome browser. Once opening up the browser, go up to the search engine and type in the link raspberrypi.org. We'll, link, we'll leave this in the description below so you can just click on it. But once you click on the link, it will pull you up to this page. Then we want to go to the top of the website to downloads. And you want to click on that. And you can download a lot of things uh, such as like Ubuntu Mate, Ubuntu Core, Ubuntu Server. But what we're looking to download in this video is uh, the Raspbian image file. So if you scroll up, you should uh, find the Raspberry Pi OS, previously called Raspbian, which is what we want. So if we click on that, uh, we want to scroll down and we want to download the Raspberry Pi OS Lite because it takes up less storage. So then we can click on download zip and it will take a while because it has to download 432 megabytes. So we'll just wait until that has finished downloading. Okay, now that our uh, Raspbian image file has been successfully downloaded, now the file has been successfully downloaded into the Chromebook, let's copy it to the SD card. In order to do that, we have to insert the SD card into the Chromebook. Before you get started, make sure that the SD card is successfully inserted into its adapter. You should also make sure that you want to insert it, the metal part of the adapter facing towards the Chromebook and down. You want to insert it into the SD card slot on your Chromebook. You should hear a click. Now that we've inserted our SD card into our Chromebook, let's copy this image file to the SD card. The first thing that I want to do is we want to go down to the shelf to the uh, Chromebook Recovery Utility icon application. Then by clicking it, you want to click on the um, settings bar on the top right corner of the application screen. Then we want to go down to the second option, use local image. Then it will ask you to select the file to open. We want to go to downloads uh, folder and you'll see that our, this is the uh, image file that we've just downloaded. So we want to select on that and click open. And it asks for the media you'd like to use. You want to click on the SD card that we inserted into the Chromebook. Then we can click continue. We can click create new and it will take a while to unpack this image file. After unpacking, it's now writing the recovery image into the SD card. Now our image file has been successfully copied on our SD card, we can click done. Now we want to write two files which we will copy to our SD card. The first thing that you wanna do is you want to go to the link that we uh, put in the description below willhaley.com slash blog slash shut up raspberry pi chromebook so once you go to that link you can scroll down and you want to continue scrolling down until you see this line of code so we're going to create two files the first one being ssh which we don't need to write anything on we just need to create that file and the second file which would be named wpa supplicant.config so uh, this this file should have this line of code right here. So in order to create these two files, let's go uh, down to the shelf to the text application. And we want to create our first file. So we want to go to the top left corner of our screen to the three bars. And we want to click on save as. And we want to save our file. So if it doesn't appear, then you want to uh, take out your SD card and reinsert it into the Chromebook. And once it does, you'll see that uh, the external drive uh, tab has popped up. So we can click on that. And we want to go to the boot drive, the boot directory. And you want to, uh, in order to check if you're in the right directory, you want to go to the directory that has the files commandline.txt and config.txt. Once you see those two files, then you know you're in the right place. Then we want to rename it as SSH and we will click save and and then we need to write our second uh, file. So then we want to click on new and it'll create a new one for us. Uh, let's move this out of the way 
and we want to uh, copy all of this code right here. So we can click, right click on it and click copy. Then you want to go back to the text application. Let's pull back up and we will paste it right here. And you want to put in your Wi-Fi uh, name under uh, next to SSID and your password next to PSK. Uh, once you've done that, then now that you've put in all your Wi-Fi information, we can save this file. So then go back down to the save as uh, option and you want to save it in the same uh, directory, the boot directory. And we want to rename this as um, WPA uh, underscore supplicant dot config or conf and then we can click save and our two files have been successfully copied to the boot directory now that we've copied the image file to the sd card let's add everything to the raspberry pi make sure before you start that the uh, the usb ports are towards the right side of you the first thing we want to do is we want to tilt the Raspberry Pi so that there are three ports facing you. The first thing that we want to do is we want to insert the HDMI cable. You want to insert it into the biggest port. You want to get the other end and you want to insert it into any HDMI monitor that you have to flip the uh, Raspberry Pi this way. Then we want to take out the SD card and its adapter from the Chromebook. Once you've done that, you want to take out the SD card from its adapter. You then want to insert the SD card into a little uh, port right here. Once you've done that, you want to tilt it this way again to the ports. You want to get your USB keyboard and you want to um, get the cord and you want to insert it into any of these ports. Now let's set up the Raspberry Pi and connect it to the HDMI monitor so we can find the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to insert the power cord into the Raspberry Pi and which will turn it on and you'll see that the lights have turned on and the HDMI monitor screen will light up and you'll see that our code will run down Let's move it like this and it will take a while the code is now expanding And you'll see right here, it says that your IP address is 192.168.86.38. That might be different for you. Uh, if you somehow miss it or that doesn't show up for you, another way you can do it is you can log in and um, go on from there. So our login would be pi. So if we type in pi and our password, which would be raspberry, click enter. And you'll see that we're in the system. Now we can type if config, click enter. Uh, you'll see that right here, it says your IP address. So that's another way to find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Now that we found the wireless IP address of this Raspberry Pi, we can unplug all the cords except the micro USB cord to keep the power on. Let's make sure that a Chromebook and the Raspberry Pi are connected to the same wireless network. In order to do that, go down to the bottom right hand corner of your screen. You'll see this little tab here. Right here, you'll see that it shows you the current wireless network that you are connected on right now. You want to make sure that this is the same wireless network as uh, the Raspberry Pi in which we set up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new connection through the Secure Shell application. Go down to the shelf to the Secure Shell app icon, and by clicking it, it will pull you up to this website. Then it will ask you to create a new connection. Uh, the first thing that you want to type in is the name of the connection, which would be, in our case, Raspberry. Uh, our username, we will put as Pi. Our host name would be the IP address, which we just found out. So um, this would be ours. And the port number is always 22, remember that. And once you're done filling everything out, you can click enter. Um, 
and it will ask you if you want to continue connecting because this is your first time. So we'll just put in yes, enter, and it will ask you for a password, uh, which would be raspberry. And we click enter, and it will ask you up here if uh, it wants to open SSH uh, links, we can click allow. Now we need to install a new software. So we are going to type in sudo uh, apt update. And we can click enter. And you'll see that it is currently updating it right now. Now that our software has been um, updated, let's upgrade it. So we're going to type in sudo apt upgrade. Um, and we're going to put dash y at the end. Uh, because it will ask you if you want to update it and with um this pretty much just means yes we do so we can click enter and you'll see that it will upgrade this will take approximately 10 minutes to upgrade so it'll take a while so now that this is done we have successfully installed Raspbian on a raspberry pi because we've done this we can do so many other projects with our raspberry pi and it opens up so many new possibilities thanks for watching